I can get across here through the air. Just call me a flying fish. Stop. A sticky note. Hello, my name is Patrick. I can see why you wrote that down. <laughs> if you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal. To feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, Krabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. So hungry, need food and attention. playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. Come What's on, going on? starving. Where do What's I the order? deal? Come on, I'm starving. What's the deal? SpongeBob, me boy. I know you have your hands full already, but I got a little favor to ask you. Okay, Mr. Krabs, what do you need? I was wondering why me pockets felt so light, so I checked and discovered that me lucky penny collection's gone missing. You carry your penny collection with you? Of course, lad, and they were here before we got back from this other world. SpongeBob, those pennies are worth more than your life. Please, bring them back home, boyo. Yes, sir, Mr. Krabs, sir. Thank you, lad. You're the best employee a crab could wish for. Tell Squidward to take notes. So hungry, need food and attention. I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Ooh, a pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Bear Bear, I'm coming for you!
creatures, Patrick. They're... they're... Funny? No, scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was going to be my second guess. No, oh, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary. SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. Hmm, I wonder if we'll spot any spots from Spot. Ah. this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a t wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very f oh. mm -hmm. Calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him! All we have to do is follow this slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying city.
awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? Excuse me, have you seen? I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, uh, that works too, I guess. What a nice costume! How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks! been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house, right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. The heavy rock is right next to my house. You can't miss it. You know what I miss? Chocolate! said he saw the monster and it made a horrible hiss at him. Sweet Neptune! 
doing? Are you insane running around like this? Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one, all square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? My snail, tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. He ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. Did you know I was just the smartest, most jealous? Oh, hey, pretty good. Yeah. Dork. Oh, I'm not sure, Mom. They're gonna make fun of my costume. It's gonna be okay. Don't be scared. Your costume looks great. Thanks. <laughs> Monsters. The thing about a monster, it's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Take a treat. I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here. Have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thanks, you. That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. We'll do it. We have to. You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! Meow, meow, meow.
Oh, you survived. I, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids. Patrick? I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Oh. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. are closed or if it's just dark. Not just dark, Patrick. This is advanced darkness.
I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary's slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. A little dabble, do ya? Museum? Gary is so learned.
Drivers ever got their learner's permits? The museum! It's on the head! Sticky sweet! Those snails the monster kidnapped! Look! It's scary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush! We can't take him back home like this! We have to cut off his candy supply first! Already on it, buddy!
gonna bring that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. In my life, I think I might have been wrong.